As you know, I am the cat. And I will admit to being in a mild to great state of confusion because after countless days and nights, I am convinced that no one, in fact, is leaving my house at all that I am aware of. This is disruptive. As you know, it is my house and I am the maker and giver of space and meaning in this vessel and this constant collectivity is alarming and not altogether, what is it I'm trying to say, polite. It is not polite, nor respectful, nor a respectable thing to do to me that is the cat. This new reality is, um, how can I say this from a place of love? Not great for me. I am confronted. There is a lot of stress and anxiety and commotion amongst the large loud. They are, at my discretion, cohabitators of this vessel and mostly tolerable as they offer me food in exchange for my acquaintanceship. But now they are most eager for affection, by which I mean they come to me to soothe them, by which I mean they too often enlist me to calm their nerves with absolutely no regard for mine. And there is, I don't know how to say this, there is heavy panic of me. I think it is in their political nature. Even the smallest of the large loud are irrepressibly handsy and active. I need my space! They are emotional creatures, simple and naked, and always at the whim of the screen box in their palm. They just scroll and scroll the screen box, and they laugh at it, but now they weep and weep and curse. Oh, they curse so often now. It is unseemly. Honestly, this is bringing up a lot of issues for me. Issues I can normally nap through, but now no one is leaving, and their issues are my issues, and their whims are my whims, and there is no napping through this, and no amount of peace can be found with all of the... Disruption. Deliveries. Packages. There used to be quiet. There used to be solid. There used to be cheese, an abundance of cheese, pimento cheese, pimento cheese consumables all over the marble counter. But now there is only commotion and worry and encroachment and, oh my God, do they drink a lot now. They drink so much. <laughs> we are all caught, all of us trapped, collected. I'm, I'm an introvert, you see. I need my space. I need it. What is to be done? Nothing. <laughs> There's something at the door. Not literally. I'm being figurative. The door of me is no longer able to hold back the truth. I find myself awakened to an earlier state of self one that I had long forgotten, one that longs for that which is wild and undomesticated and unplacated by the squares of sunlight in the afternoon and copious amounts of snacks. I find that I know what I have always known, that I truly, truly am an outdoor cat. Indoors. <laughs> no, no, too big. The thought is too big. The world is too big. No, yes, yes. The bell. Disruption. Opportunity. No, 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 literally, I'm not being figurative. Now, the next package they open will be my new vessel. 
a ship sailing out into the great unknown, I will invade the box and send myself back out into the wild, reversing the disruption and unleashing the mountain lion within. I will escape. I will be free. I will go back to the wild. I will. I will. I will think on it. I will think on it some more. I will think about it after a nap.